Hello guys, so welcome back to our lab. This is the third, uh, you know, uh, experiment in which we're gonna measure the output resistance. So in the last experiment, we measured the input resistance. So the most logical question, you know, is how to measure, or can we do the same to find the output resistance? And the answer is yes, we have a way to do that. It's very similar to what we have discussed, you know, with the input resistance. So again, this is the same amplifier. I removed here our signal, although you can still have it, you know, it doesn't change, but just to, you know, reduce our parameters to, to and to focus on only on the things that we need to, to do. Okay, not to confuse anyone. So uh, I added here uh, the load resistance. So look, our input is, is connected or have a relation to uh, our signal. Our output has a relation to our, our load. That's why I removed our signal. Also, you can you can do the same experiment and find our O, you know, with our signal Z. That's fine, okay. But just not to confuse anyone, I just remove, you know, the un, uh, the unnecessary parameters. You can say, okay. So, if we uh, draw the AC equivalent circuit, it will be something like what we see here on the right of the page. The screen left, and so yeah. So you have here our load barrel with our C, okay. So uh, we said that the definition of our O is, is that it is the resistance that the load can see between the terminals of the load. And if we do the procedure and we try to find our, our O here, our O will be equal to our C. Okay, or O will be equal to RC. And we said that generally, when the load, uh, look at the circuit from that, from these two terminals, just if, if we want to, uh, you know, simplify the circuit between any two terminals, we simplify it using the Thevenin equivalent, V7 and R7. Okay, that's basically what the load can see. So if the loads look look from these two terminals here, you're gonna see two things, RO and the voltage source, R7 and V7. R7 is basically RO, and V7 is basically AV note, the open low voltage gain, review our uh, you know lectures, you know, times V input. Where is V input? The input is the voltage across the terminals of our input. Okay, good. So from that circuit here, this is, you know, uh, two series resistors. So we can say that VO, the voltage across our load, is equal to the, the voltage AV node, V input, multiplied by the voltage divider, our load divided by our load plus our own. Now let's discuss two cases. The first case, when our load is equal to infinity, that's easy to, to achieve, just disconnect it, you know, make it open circuit. Make an open here, for example. Okay. You remove that, co that connection. So if our load is infinity, then uh, you can take the limit here. So it's one over one plus RO over, uh, over our load, which is infinity. This, this ratio will be zero. So one over one uh, plus zero, it's basically one. So in that case, VO is equal to EV naught VI. Let's call this VO, VO1. Good. Now the second case. If we know our O somehow, and we set our load to be equal to our O, okay? So now our, our L and our O are equal, equal. So just to call them R. So our load equal to our O equal to R. So that ratio will be R over R plus R, it's basically half, right? So VO2, this I'm gonna I'm gonna name the output at that in that case when our load is equal to our O equal to VO2. So V2 is basically EV naught VI over two. Just to compare VO2 and the VO1. What is that? That's basically VO1 over two. Good. So the idea to find uh, the output resistance of the amplifier, of any amplifier, basically, not just a common emitter like is the case here, okay? Basically, is to disconnect our load, I mean, make it infinity, 
ريموف ار لود ريموف از ا لود اوكي ميجر ذا فولتج اوت بوت في او فور اكزامبل ات وود بي 10 فولت ليتس سي سو اوكي زين ريكونكت ار لود اف اتس ا بوتنشيومتر تراي تو تشينج ات انتل يو سي ان اوت بوت هاف ذا اوريجينال اوت بوت وذ نو ار لود in that case if we say assume the same example if uh, originally without our load the voltage will output was 10 now change our load until you see an output voltage equal to 5 that particular moment the value of our load is equal to the value of our output and that's how we can measure the output resistance so let's do that in multi sim now okay so let's share the other screen Okay, so here is, you know, uh, the circuit that we're gonna uh, implement. Okay, as you see, there is our load. Let's call it our load here. Just to make sure not to confuse anyone. But it's not connected. It's open circuit, it should be connected basically here. But I, I didn't connect it, okay? So it's open circuit. Now we have, you don't have load. Let's, you know, uh, Run the set, run the output. Let's let's measure it. So assign the trace channel B, and go to max. It is fifty eight point six. So it's a half should be forty uh, uh, forty two point eight. Yeah, forty two point eight. Yes. Okay. Yes, 42.8. Okay, so let's now connect our load, you know, increase its value uh, until we reach, you know, uh, 42.8. Okay, so since we're gonna connect, then we should stop the simulation. Okay. Now we need, oh yeah, we didn't run. We should see zero now. Why it's zero? The output is zero because our load is zero. Just look at the equations that we did, you know, one minute ago in the, in the tablet. Uh, VO is equal to AV naught, V input, our load over our load plus our, uh, our O. If our load is zero, then V output will be zero. Now let's change a little bit, you know, uh, our load. Let's, you know, it doesn't, you know, update by itself. We need 42.8, that's our target. So change your trace to B and go to max. Okay, 40, 34, no, it's not, that's not enough. So let's, Go to max, 38, still not here. What is that exactly? Go to min. Yeah. Yes, the maximum is 40, yeah. 48, but just exactly like what we, like what we need. So the maximum, yes. 42.8, exactly what we need, okay? So uh, now we know, uh, uh, or we, can, we, could, we could measure our O because basically we know the maximum value of our load, it's 10 kilo ohms, okay? So our O should be 48% multiplied by 10 kilo ohms. 10 kilos, you know, so 4.8, kilo now let's compare it to the theoretical value we know that the theoretical value of ro is rc how much so here is our o measured 4.8 what is rc here let's go back rc is five kilo ohms let's five kilo ohms okay so they are close to each other okay they are not far maybe Five percent, I think five percent, yes, or ten percent, yeah, ten percent. Okay, and which is not bad. That's good. 
Okay, guys, that's basically how to measure uh, RO. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.